intuition and I'm getting into your daily spiritual message your daily reflection on this beautiful Wednesday October the 9th 2019 however my love whenever this message finds you that is when it's meant for you so I hope before your big feet or little feet have hit the ground that you have done something on a spiritual level that is going to keep you and hold you throughout the day Oh my, <laughs> make sure that you meditate, ground yourself, um, you know, watch something um, that's really going to help feed your spirit, you know, make sure you get your daily dose of spiritual food. I don't even know. I just heard like sometime for some of some, for someone, this is their daily dose <laughs> of spiritual food, but you know, say some positive affirmations about your life and where your life is going and what you are calling into your life. Remind yourself, look in the mirror. Oh, uh, turn that phone around to selfie mode, how much you love you, how amazing you are, how proud of you are, because God knows I am, because you have made a conscious decision to live in your truth, to love you, to know your worth, to accept who you are, to pursue your dreams, to live your dreams, you know, to move away from people, placing the things that no longer serve you, you know, to really come into what does. And with that being said, my love muffin, there are are some powerful powerful things going on in the cosmos okay beautiful positive beautiful positive um outcomes okay and things in the in the cosmos um for each and every one of these beautiful souls that are watching right now now what i do want to let you know is spirit really guided me whatever you may be experiencing and to all of us that can look like something totally different all right and it can come in different forms we know that mercury is going retrograde pre-retrograde the 11th of october but we're already feeling those effects okay and what you do right now in these last three months okay what you do what you say what you think no pressure <laughs> all right is really building the momentum, all right, for how you, you know, the mindset, crafting the mindset, crafting, you know, you know, your 2020. It's what spirit downloaded, um, downloaded into me. And um, if you notice that the energy has been a little intense or things have been intense in your life and, you know, all these, you're being hit with these, you know, um, these obstacles or these I like to call them opportunities, you know, these lessons to get your blessings, <laughs> you know, that may be showing up at your door. Spirit wanted to let you know, don't be alarmed. In these last three months, you know, I know this is, you know, the soul guidance of today, but your soul just really wants this to marinate in your, marinate in your heart, in your spirit, that don't be surprised if, you know, things start happening or these lessons, you know, get a little intense or this Mercury retrograde is a little intense because I promise you what's going on, it is making room for the gift. And that gift is whatever you desire, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you know that you desire and want for your life. There are certain things that you have asked for, you know, opportunities, experiences, you know, that you've asked for. And what's happening is right now there are lessons, you know, coming your way and it's to help you, you know, level up. <laughs> All right. Move things out so you can really make room for the gift. You know, for whatever you have asked. All right. And we know with Abraham acts and it is given and it's already here. You're just making room. 
Okay, so if, you know, you notice that it's been an, an intense, a little intense energy, just randomly, you know, you don't know like what's going on. This is what's going on in the atmosphere, okay? It's a lot of clearing. A lot of people are clearing. If you're an empath, definitely I'm being guided to tell you, definitely make sure that you, you know, um, protect your aura, protect your energy because it's sometimes it's not even your life, but it's just what's going on. You know, this is why it's so intense. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. And then, you know, we have a full moon. Was it a uh, full moon in Aries, new moon in Scorpio? Like it's just so much going on, you know, with Mercury retrograding and all that stuff. But I promise you, whatever is showing up, it's, it's really making room for the gift. All right. For whatever you have asked for, my beautiful love muffin. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and just, I felt, you know, perfect time to bring out this astrology, astrology um, deck, just to see, you know, what is going on? What's the overall energy of today? What's available? What gift? What are you making room for in your life? You know, or what's happening <laughs> right now? <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. We're going to take this one. All right, we're going to pull another one. Okay, let's see what's going on today. All right, we got it. Is this two or one? It's one. Oh my God, like, why well, am I nervous? <laughs> what, did, what did somebody ask for? They thought I asked something super seriously good. Mm -hmm. All right, so also look on the bottom of this deck, Saturn, truth. This is another reason why this these energies are so intense. It's very beautiful, very liberating, but it's intense, all right? You're presented with the truth, all right? You're being presented with your truth. And sometimes we have to move away from things. We have to open up. We have to, you know, do certain things to really be in alignment with our truth. And that's what's going on. I really feel like in this time, this day right now, you're being, you're getting in alignment with your truth. You're on the path of alignment with your truth. Okay. So let's see what it looks like. We have Pisces. I believe believing in the unbelievable. We talked about that yesterday. Um, hold on. I'm going to get the book for that one. <laughs> Ninth house, faith. Look at that. Believe. I believe. Faith. This is about what this moment is. This is what's going on. This is what certain things are showing up in your life, you know, to get you to, um, to get you to believe, you know, that whatever it is that you want is attainable. Okay. To believe in yourself, to believe in the divine, have faith in the divine. That's crazy. We just talked about that yesterday. What is the middle one? Let's see. Oh, so we have the grand cross, the provoker. Um, so it says life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. The grand cross is an area of tension in, in a chart thus becoming a great catalyst for movement and change. A rare astrology, don't know that word. <laughs> oh, confrontation. The grand cross, also called the grand square, occurs when four, place, when four planets form a perfect cross in the skies. These planets are around 90 degrees from each other, meaning there are four planetary squares, okay? It says... Oppositions as well may occur. They come with the pressure to grow and the will to exceed any limitations put in one's path. <laughs> but the Grand Cross is the most rare and intense of all. And this is what you may be, this is what you are experiencing. Okay, right now. Whatever you are experiencing, it is making room for the gift, things that you have asked for, experience that you that you want, all right? And I really feel like it's intense because we're we're in this three months. Something's very significant before we get to 2020. <laughs> you know, I don't know what that's about, but it's something, it's something my in, in my spirits, the divine is telling me, get what you gotta get now. You know, like it's it's important like to just get your ducks in a row, plan, all right? 
Be, be know what, know what you want now. Be in alignment with your truth. Believe in the impossible becoming possible for you. Whatever you want, it's not far fetched. Now, if you ask for, you know, let's say a job or a career or a business making 2K hundred, you know, thousand dollars every three months. Let's just say that. I don't know. You know, to move to Bali, you know, whatever you ask for, you know, to be in the ultimate beautiful relationship filled with so much love, you know, to be a spiritual seeker, you know, of the ages, whatever you've asked for, for your children, you know, and to their, for your children, their children to be, you know, set for life. You've asked for something, all right, on a grand big scale because you are believing the impossible. And these situations that may be showing up in your life is literally putting you in alignment with that. It might not feel good. It might not, you know, because sometimes if you, like I said, I would never forget. <laughs> it was with a client. She was like, you know, she asked for inner peace and everything in her life started falling apart. Well, it's just that those things kept you away from inner peace. You know, <laughs> if you ask for, you know, a, um, a healthy relationship and you realize that your relationship starts to crumble, it's probably because you're trying to get pulled away and, and that relationship isn't as healthy as you thought it was, you know? Those could definitely be factors in here. If you've asked for self-confidence and opportunities to live your dream, you better believe those things are going to start knocking on your door and showing up, putting you to put yourself out there, to be open, to love yourself and all of you, you know, these things are, are going to happen. The provoker, you've asked for something and now your life is moving. The universe is moving, provoking, moving things out of the way. To get an alignment. Okay. So right now have faith. That whatever is happening is creating a better reality. One that is more in alignment with who you are in your truth. All right. Let's see what soul guidance spirit has for us. Okay. Purification. Look at that. Radiance. Let's pull one more. The courage, you know, so as you're transitioning, as these things are taking place, as you're moving forward, as you're mending, as you're believing in yourself, as you are coming out of your comfort zone, as you are really living your authentic soul, <laughs> okay, spirit wants you to understand purification with the I believe. Things may be showing up in your life to pur to purify the, the, the lack, you know, maybe feeling that you're not worthy, being mindful of the words that you say to yourself. It says my energy, my energy field is being cleansed of all that I do not need. So any of those things that you don't need, people, places, things, words, all right vibes all of that is literally being purified right now this is why it's so intense so intense you know on my twin flame um you know guidance um weekly guidance i was just talking about surrendering you know surrendering to the to to the truth okay and I really feel like what is not in alignment with you right now in this present time, in this moment, whenever you have stumbled upon this video, this is when it's shifting, it's moving away. So actually, this is a time to celebrate. This is a time to be thankful. You know, I learned a, a massive lesson, <laughs> massive lesson yesterday. And, um, you know, wow, um, it, it was very, very eye-opening to me, very liberating um, one thing about it is I'm very family oriented. I love my three sisters and anything else that comes attached to them, my nieces and nephews. I have a total of 10, including my godson. And there's, you know, I am, there's nothing that can really rattle my cage or do anything like that to me. But when I, when, except my nieces and nephews and, you know, my godson, like, that just really grinds my gears and you know um i didn't i don't have any understanding for like 
kids being hurt, kids being bullied, kids being picked on, kids of anything like being harmful or put in a certain situation. I have no understanding for situations like that. I there's just there's no like, you know, no. You know, I'm Tory Light and Love, but you know, you come on in that and if you come in that energy and mess with my nieces and nephews or kids, I'll probably turn in like from Tory down the block, you know. And I realized I had to realize, <laughs> you know, um, just this path that I'm on and and where I am, you know, after at the moment I was hot because something had happened and and you know, I just couldn't believe that, you know, a grown woman, you know, was conducting herself like this in, you know, the face of children, you know, having this conversation that did not need to happen around this baby and it was mentally abusive and bullying and, you know, yeah, Tori just kind of like lost it. <laughs> I did. And, um, when I went within myself, because I'm, I'm a, like I said, I would never tell you guys to do anything that I don't practice myself, honey. When I went to myself and I'm like, now Tori, <laughs> hmm. And I'm like, you know, why am I so vexed? I was just so, 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 so angry. And I've gotten a mute, you know, I've gotten used to, um, I'm not immune to looking at my own shit. You know, I can see it very clearly what I need to improve and, you know, what's a no-no and what's a go-go. Like I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very aware of that. And I had to look at myself and, um, you know, um, I, you know, <laughs> I tell my, I tell my nieces and nephews, well, always conduct yourself, you know, don't let, you know, things get you out of this and that and that. And I was wondering, you know, why, um, you know, when my niece is things that she's very passionate about, she just has no understanding at all. Like there's no understanding when she's passionate about something. And I was like, dang, look at it. It's me. You know, wow. Like, you know, that's where she gets that from. And, and, and it's very good. It's very good. It's very good. But it can be very not good when it's not a time, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm like, no, Gita, just calm it down, baby. It's okay. Just calm it down. You know, but she, you know, when she has her mind gone, she has it, she has it, she has it. And guys, I literally had to scale back in and just really reflect and look at some things. And I realized the reason why is because I share my childhood and my, how my voice was taken away. Um, when I was in Jamaica with my step grandmother and how she would beat us with bamboo sticks and I wouldn't have food. And, you know, I, she would lie. And if I, I couldn't use my voice because if I told, I, I was so in fear, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, healing is an ongoing process. And though I have overcome a lot of it, but when I see kids like in like, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, it doesn't even have to be something really major. But when I see an adult just doing something inappropriate to a child, I just don't have any understanding for it. And I really like go from one to 29, like seriously. And I was like, oh my God, you know, and I was shown that I have to heal and, you know, and, um, just who I am, where I am. And I know about unconditional love. And I know whether you want to believe it or not, you don't have to go in anger. You don't have to go in hate. I'm a, I know this. And sometimes, you know, when we were going to have, have like a, a parent teacher conference and, you know, I would, you know, was going to go, but I'm going to actually allow my sister to go in. And instead of going like, oh, you know, da, 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 da. but my sister at the core of it, we was just really hurt and we were crying. And I told her, you know what, let's go in this meeting being vulnerable, you know, showing our emotions because we're really not angry. We're really hurt and not understanding how could an adult talk to a child like that and, you know, be vulnerable and be open and go in the energy of love, you know? And, um, to me, like when I reverted back, you know, into who I was in my core, that felt very, very good. And it made me realize that there's, you know, some healing, you know, that I, you know, that I, that I, you know, um, needed to do in that area. So whatever is showing up in your life, if you really scale back and you look at it as at a bigger, at a bigger thing, <laughs> okay, there's an underlining underlining here okay so you know because there are certain things that I've asked for in my life and you know at the end of the day I, you know I can 
but it's just not healthy for me to conduct myself because I have free will. But for me and just what I came down here to experience in my life, it's just not healthy for me to conduct myself like that. And, um, um, I really feel like that's being purified in me because I'm a firm believer. You can go and love. Love is the way. Love is the light. Martha Luther King didn't love. He didn't do it in anger. He didn't do it with, you know, guns. He did it with his voice and his passion. And he went in the energy of love. And this is what has shaped so many things. You get what I'm saying? And it's not that the other way is wrong, but it's not for me. It doesn't feel good to me. You get what I'm saying? I was like, oh, man. Dang. Whew. <laughs> you know? But these things may come up, you know, for purification. And, and, and again, with Pisces, we know that Pisces hold all 12 zodiac signs. Pisces are very emotional, very in their feelings, honey, you know. So whatever may be coming up is purifying you for what you asked for, what you desired. Okay. Speak it over your life. I believe I am healed. I believe I am whole. I believe I don't have those strongholds. I believe I don't have those problems. I don't have to do it that way. You know. That's what, you know, that's a valuable lesson that I learned and it was so liberating, okay? And when you do that, you know, when, um, like I said, in those situations that are provoking you and when you scale back, when you look at it, when you go deep, when you use that flashlight, you get what I'm saying? I am a radiant reflection of God's light. Really tap into that energy of love. This is how you transmute this um, energy, all right? This is how you overcome it, all right? We have the courage. I live life passionately and courageously. And that's really what will happen. So right now, whatever you may be looking at, whatever you may be facing, understanding that it is shaping you and helping you. In every, in every situation, there's a lesson, okay? And I promise you it holds a blessing, it's setting, you, it's setting you up for something that you asked for, okay? So let's just see what guidance spirit has on this beautiful, beautiful, yeah. The king of swords, no, this is the knight of swords. I'm about to say, did we, this is the knight of swords. I'm about to say, did we get the, the king of swords again? We got the knight of swords, okay? What soul guidance does spirit have about making room for the gift, okay? Let's see. The tower right there were provoker. <laughs> the tower. Ah, oh, you know, and, and sometimes we can hold on to people, places, situations, beliefs, the way that we deal with things. You know what I'm saying? Just because you deal with it in that way doesn't mean it's healthy, you know? And I feel like right now it's definitely a time of purification, removing yourself from these things. Okay, let's see what else Guidance Spirit has for us on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. What does Guidance do you have, Spirit? You know, but it's a choice. The sun. Oh, and because my spirit said, I'm not going to flick it out. Choose it. Because you have to choose. You have to choose. We have a choice. And, and when you choose, look what comes out. Look. The sun. This is the most happiest card in the whole tarot deck. This is the most fulfillment. You know? In, like instead of looking at it as completion, I look at it as a complete bliss. This is how you found your happy, happy space. But it's a choice. It's a choice. When, you know, you got the knight of swords, okay? You can act immature, <laughs> you know? You can use that sword. You can cut, you know? All right? When this tower moment comes, it's all about how it's all about how you how you want to use your energy. Let's see. Can you clarify the Knight of Swords spirit? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. It's all about it's all about what you want to do. You, whatever situation is showing up is presenting you, okay, the opportunity to choose what route that you want to do. What route do you want to go it in? You know, whatever this tower moment, it's going to provoke a new beginning for you. A new life, a new way of thinking, a new way of how being. I see it in this sword. There is power and conflict, but it's all about how you choose to use this sword. You, by you making your decision and how you choose, you dictate, you dictate 
you know, what's best for you and what's not. The sword is a sword. You can use it for good to cut through the illusion, to cut through the BS, you know, <laughs> you can do that or you can use this to stop it. Okay. But whatever, whatever way that you decide, whatever way that you choose, whatever way that you choose, there's two options here, you know. You got one that's going to give you, you know, the ace of wands, a new beginning, or that's going to bring more, you know, more of what you don't desire and what you don't want, you know, to, to happen. It's going to keep this stuff here. And these like, you know. Because there's a gift here with the sun. There's a major arcana. There's a beautiful gift here with your name on it. But you have to choose it. You have to choose this path. Nobody can choose it for you. Okay? And I love this definition. It says, let me hold it up right here. I love, I love this art on this deck. Oh, I love it. It says, the sun card shines down confidence and awakening upon you. It is a time to embrace the joys in life and leave darkness and confusion behind. Positivity, success, joy, and optimism. Optimistic. Mistum. You know that word. So you can choose the light and leave darkness behind. Is what spirit is saying right here. You can choose the light and leave darkness behind. There's always a choice. There's always a choice. And, and the, the choices that you make, it's either going to bring these new beginnings, these new things in your life, shining more sun or bringing more tower moments. We all know what these towers are, you know? But I want to read it from this, this little deck. I want to read it, okay? Here it is. These tower moments. Okay, it says... The tower shows up when you are living in an illusion, okay? You must remove the mask and expose the truth of the situation in order to change it. Change is difficult. You will be shaken. The familiar will be broken down and removed from your comfort zone. The tower reminds you to let go and let the ego fall. Don't hold on to nothing. You see this mass? Allow, allow this, allow this breaking to happen to happen. So this is why this energy just is so intense right now. Let's go ahead and pull a card from your higher self. What does your self want you to know? Ooh. <laughs> what does your self want you to know on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday? What would your self like you to know right now? In this moment of time, what would your self like you to know throughout now, spirit, what is self like you to know right now? Self like you can choose. Okay. We have body. Okay. Okay. So it says, show me, divine, how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Now, I'm also hearing, because when I just seen body, body on an intuitive level, um, I really feel like eating fruits and vegetables, um, you know, getting, like doing something active right now in this moment is really going to help raise your vibration, all right? It's really going to help your body fuel, you know, and, and really... Um, like be like, I want to say ready for, not ready for war, but like be able to handle, you know, whatever, whatever's happening, these feelings, these emotions, because there's a lot of great releases right now. It says feelings, emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. And it's crazy, it came out on the tower part, you know? And right here, compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born. Drawing this, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. Compassion, self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance as the sun. 
So this is what yourself is saying to you, my love muffins, on this beautiful Wednesday, okay? Listen, just know whatever you are experiencing, you more than got this. There's nothing that you can't do, can't be, can't see, can't have. Go manifest your wildest desires. Manifest them into this current reality. It's very real. The only limit is you. You have the choice. It's the power is in your hand. That is your free will. <laughs> you have the you have the choice. You have the tools. You have the power. All right, to say yes and no. All right. So I love you guys so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for you. As always, I'm sending you oodles and coodles of love. And don't forget to go out and hug a tree for me and you. And I will do the same. And I'll catch you guys on my channel. Take care. Follow, she blazing. Huh?